check this out. This is a proper golf simulator setup. Come with me. Right, I'm down at Golf Swing Systems. They've invited me down to see their golf simulator setup and how amazing it is. And I'm gonna talk you through it, from the turf, projector, everything. If you're interested in golf simulators, you've got to check this out. I'm joined today by Alex from Golf Swing Systems and he's going to talk us through this unbelievable golf simulator setup that they've got down here at the Golf Swing Systems studio. So Alex, first of all, please can you talk us through uh, a little bit about what Golf Swing Systems is? Yeah, so Golf Swing Systems, we're a Surrey-based uh, golf tech company really. We've been about, around for about 25 years, so we've got plenty of experience. And uh, we specialize in everything from sort of your 10 pound training aids from like molded grips and you know, uh, alignment sticks all the way up to what you see here, which is you know, a super premium custom built simulator featuring a Trackman launch monitor, HD screen, all the rest of it. So uh, yeah, and all of your golf training needs, we can, we can sort you out. And uh, it's true that everything that you're going to talk us through here today in terms of this simulator you can buy at Golf Swing Systems, yeah? Yeah, yeah. so this is, this is basically uh, our premium simulator offering. You can go all the way from floor to ceiling, everything can be put into your home or your business. Uh, and we also have options all the way down to suit a number of budgets, you know, right away from if you're wanting to spend as much as you can, you know, you can go as, as high as you want to, all the way down to spending a few thousand pounds and getting a working simulator in place. Cool. Right, so I can't wait to get started because he's going to talk us through literally everything from the floor, the turf, the projector, everything. So, um, first of all, I think we should start off maybe with the projector and the impact screen. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, so what you're seeing here is an HD quality screen. Now, that's a really important factor, especially if you're getting a premium launch monitor like a TrackMan or even a SkyTracker and a uh, FlightScope Mevo. Those are good. those are have pretty advanced graphic systems, so you want to be able to appreciate those for what they are. So this is an HD quality screen. Yeah, you're going to be able to really appreciate the quality of the projector that you're buying as well. So you can't buy an HD screen then buy a rubbish projector. You kind of need to get the proper projector, proper screen, and you're going to see everything in the full detail. You know, when you're talking about Trapman, you're looking at almost photo real graphics, especially on the courses. So you need to be able to see it on the proper level of screen. And uh, if you don't want to go to an HD screen, we then have what we call an archery screen, which has, it's, it's more of a budget option, but it's much more durable. Yeah, it will be very, very durable. It will last you a lifetime. But uh, the holes between the fibers are a little bit wider. So that's why we don't call it an HD screen. You, you don't get see. as high quality a picture from an archery yeah. screen either. Yeah, yeah, an archery screen is not going, like between archery and HD, you're going to notice a huge difference. The HD is always what we recommend mm. because you're going to get that that really, really true picture of what the projector is trying to show you. And I've just hit a few shots into the screen here, and um, for some HD screens, the, the sound that you get is quite intense, it's quite loud, isn't it? But this one's yeah. not too bad at all. Yeah, so we, we make sure to use multiple layers of, of very high quality woven fabric, which it helps, it helps. We don't want to call this acoustic you know, cushioning or acoustic uh, dead noise, because technically it's not. But as you can see from some of the shots, that we hit earlier on, uh, the, the sound is pretty, is pretty muffled when you do hit this and, and part of that comes from how it's mounted as well. So we don't mount the, the screen with tension because A, for a safety reason, you don't want a trampoline pointing at you, uh, but the fact that it's got give in it, that takes away some of that noise, kills the ball dead and makes sure you're having a safe and, you know, acoustically yeah. okay you know, experience. And it's still, you said that there's not a lot of tension in the screen there, but it's still yeah. like a, a perfectly flat image, it looks like, anyway, yeah. from here. So like my screen at home, for example, um, it's got a few ripples in it and mm -hmm. things, and it's tough to get the, the tension just right without the ball bouncing back yeah. at you, like you say. So how is this screen mounted? It's very tidy, it looks amazing, it's got the little borders around the outside, but how is the actual screen mounted? Yeah, so behind the screen, you've got what we call metal galve angles. So we have, we have basically a metal frame that follows around the black section of that screen there. Now those are what are called pelmets. So those are a Velcro fabric uh, you know, covering for the screen that then Velcros onto the screen. And then you have zip ties that go around the metal frame. And there is a, there's a certain amount of give that you want in the screen. You don't want it to be too tight, but these are, you know, they're, it's sealed and 
and secured all the way around the, the edges and the top edge. And then the bottom edge is left actually unsecured, which gives that give and gives that sort of safety element to it. Amazing. Um, and I also love the, the padding that you've got around the mm -hmm. outside. Now, I've looked into that myself and it's pretty expensive stuff, yeah. um, but it looks amazing. I'm sure you guys will agree. So what is that stuff? Is it foam? Is it leather? What is it? Yeah, so we've got a few different options. So this, this what you can see here, is leather cushioning. So it is the premium option that you can go for, and it's pretty expensive. But the reason it's expensive is these are all custom-built like tiles. So you get, you get your tiles built to the size you require and the shape you require. We, can do, we also do quite a few in like this hexagonal shape, which is, looks really, really smart. But then you can also, if you're looking for more of a budget-friendly option, you can have them without the leather covering, and that's then acoustic foam cushioning, which is the inside of these. And it works exactly the same. So it's going to keep you safe, say you shank a ball, which we all do. Uh, it's going to take that ball and it's going to kill it dead. Um, it's also going to help with the noise again. Again, we don't like to sell it as, oh, it's going to soundproof your room completely, but it is going to absorb a lot of the noise of these shots. And then if you want to go even more budget friendly, we have what we call our freestanding enclosures. So that's where a more traditional simulator look, where you've got the frame, you've got the screen exactly the same, but then coming out from the screen is the fabric yeah. to then catch the ball. I'm with you. Um, this is sort of the premium option, the freestanding enclosures. They're what, if you're, what you're looking at if you want to try and save a little bit of money. Fantastic. Okay, so that's the, the, the screen and how it's mounted and things like that. Um, you mentioned the projector. Um, mm -hmm. Do you know what projector it is? Yeah, so it, this is a Panasonic 6000 lumens projector. So this is pretty much as close to a cinema quality projector as you can get without going to what we call a laser projector. Now, you can go for a number of different options. This obviously is the premium option we, we offer. We want the best picture for the people demoing our simulators. But you can also get uh, 5,000 lumens and 4,500 lumens projectors as well, which are still going to give an HD quality, yeah. uh, you know, it's going to give an HD quality picture. But if you're pairing it with TrackMan like we are here, you want to have that really, really crisp contrast with deep colors. And uh, that's, that's where you're going to notice the big difference as you go down the levels of projectors is the depth of color and also the amount of light that you can tolerate here. So you can see us all perfectly because we've got roof lights on. This will still show a really nice screen even in daylight. Uh, whereas if you get a cheap projector, you're then going to need to look at things That's like blackout uh, blinds and you know, trying yeah. to make it so that the projector picture is good enough. So my projector at home is not the greatest projector, mm -hmm. but I'm in a, a garage with no windows, and yeah. just the door so is very really dark, <laughs> so I get away with it, yeah. But as you can see in this room, it, it's nice and bright. I can see everybody perfectly, and we've got an amazing picture still on the screen. So yeah. that is exactly what you want when you're setting up your home golf simulator, innit? Okay, so we've gone through those little bits and bats. Now, um, a question that I get asked a lot on the channel uh, through direct messages and stuff is about hitting mats. Now, mm -hmm. I really cheaped out on my hitting mat. I was telling you before I went down yeah. to my local driving range that I got one, I think I paid like, well, a case of beer, I got it for eventually. Okay. So, um, but this hitting mat, I've just hit a few shots off this hitting mat and it's, it's nice. It's very, very nice. It's very, very soft, quite cushiony. And you were saying to me before, it's, it's very, very, well, it's not very, very punishing it, it is punishing for yeah. fat shots and things like that so can you just explain a little bit about the map yeah you've got? so this is called a t-turf hitting map it's kind of our it's our best seller at the moment we have a number of different options but when we're installing into a simulator this would be what we'd normally recommend so the reason it is so useful is it acts as a training aid in itself with the depth of the fibers that you're getting on this map you're getting a real amount of feedback if you hit something fat. So if you hit the shot fat, it's gonna react the same way as if you were hitting it in turf. It's gonna really take away some club head speed. It's gonna, you're gonna notice it in the data and you're also gonna feel it in your hands. Yeah. Um, but with that extra depth and the extra cushion, you also get that safety for your wrists, your elbows. You know, we're all getting older, no one's getting so, younger. <laughs> and uh, you know, if you were hitting off a bit of a scabby mat, you can start to notice, you know, if you hit something, you know, if you go through a little swing change, you're hitting the ball a little bit fat. Yeah. You can start to feel that in your lead elbow That's and your lead uh... wrist. And yeah, this is going to protect your your health, but also then act as a bit of a training aid in its own right. Mm -hmm. um, you then also have more traditional sort of driving range style mats. You know, things like the True Strike, things like the fiber built mats, and those are sort of the premium end of a driving range mat. So if you went to like a like a Trackman range or a Top Tracer range, you're going to find something similar okay. to that in in place. And those are then going to offer that, they have more of a base to them, so they're going to offer that cushioning. But they're not going to offer you quite as much feedback as, as yeah, a T-Tech. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, because yeah, um, my, my mat at home is, is quite 
so it's quite hard, it's quite thin, it's quite tough. Um, so when I hit a fat shot, the, the club face just bounces off that turf and it doesn't particularly punish fat shots too much. And then when yeah. I get out on the course, I'm, I wonder why I'm not carrying the ball as far. So What's happening here? I know, yeah. <laughs> There's a big difference. Yeah. Um, okay, amazing. Uh, I do really like that, Matt. I'm going to enjoy hitting a few shots off that later on. When you get um, it sorted out, it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I want to show you this, this putting turf that they've got as kind of um, around the outside of the, of the hitting mat as well. This is cool. Um, I'm assuming it's proper putting turf. Yeah, um, so, yeah cool. so this is called eagle putting turf. So basically we... We you know, get this shipped in, get it manufactured, and we set it off um, at it's about £30 a square metre. So it's quite, you know, for, for a carpet, it's actually a pretty good price. Yeah. You've got to look at a similar price to that just to carpet your living room. But the difference between normal carpet and this stuff is this rolls perfectly at 10 the stint metre. Right. So you're going to be able to practice your putting on a mat that actually rolls at a similar pace to the I was going to ask you about the stimp of it, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's 10 on the stimp, the same as a bunch of the other, like we've got a lot of putting training aids here, you know, putting carpets and the big tilt putting platform. They all roll at 10 the stint because that is what we class as a medium fast green. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it's perfect for surrounding your hitting mat, and not just because you can practice your putting, but also again for a safety and a longevity issue, because as the ball is bouncing down, especially if you're in a garage, if you've got a concrete floor on there, it's going to a present a bit of a danger of the ball bouncing back at you, even if it's bouncing down like you do with a properly fitted screen. Mm. If it hits a crease in your concrete and comes at you, it's not going to be particularly yeah. fun. Um, but also for the longevity, if you're playing with Pro V1s, for instance, in your, in your simulator, bouncing them on concrete isn't exactly going to do yeah, them the, you don't the, want to the world of good. Expensive balls, do you? Yeah, so so it's going to a it's going to cushion them, b it's going to keep you safe, and also you get that added option of practicing your putting. Fantastic. Um, yeah. And when you get to things like TrackMan and FlightScope Mevo and SkyTrack, these sort of more premium launch monitors, you can actually hit putts in the game. You know, yeah. Say say you're playing TGC 2019, or you are you were saying you, you're using GS Pro at the moment. You can finish out your putts, and you're actually going to see them rolling in the same way they're rolling yeah, in the launch yeah, monitor. Yeah. So if you set the greens to ten on the stimp, it's that's going to perfect, be exactly yeah. the same as on as on your your putting carpet, and that's a guarantee as well. They are definitely ten on the stimp. Fantastic, yeah, yeah. amazing. Um, yeah, I love that. Um, I see you've got the the holes within the mm -hmm. turf. Like, do you guys do that as yeah. well? Yeah. Yeah. So the, if, if we're basically what we would do is if you're getting a simulator, very often we end up installing that. And uh, so we come and we have special drills that can drill into the ground and put a putting cup into it, even if you had a concrete ground underneath. Yeah. Um, the only thing that stands in the way of that is if you've got underfloor heating. So if you're doing it in an internal room in the house and you've got underfloor heating, that can then be an issue. But what we can then do is do a shallow cup. Um, so we've brought in a number of different options in terms of like shallow cups that sit maybe an inch below the I've surface, those, which yeah. is the basically the level that you'd go to the underlay below this carpet anyway. So then you don't have to drill down into that and potentially yeah, rupture a heating pipe or something. Yeah, like cool. Yeah. Excellent. Right, amazing. Um, and I think the, the last thing that we need to talk about um, is quite a, a, a difficult topic in terms of getting set up for your home golf simulator. It's, it's the computer that mm -hmm. you guys are running. So yeah. uh, golf simulators and launch monitors require quite a lot of a computer power and uh, often a gaming PC is required, especially to run the software where you're playing courses and stuff. So um, can you just talk us through a little bit about the computer that you guys use? Yeah, so we offer basically, we offer a desktop option or a laptop option. Um, and the key factor when you're, when you're building a simulator in terms of your, your PC is the graphics card. Yeah. So the graphics card requirements generally will be anything over a 3060 graphics card. So, you know, everyone's heard of the, you know, RTX 3090. Mm. That's sort of the, the premium, ones, premium yeah. graphics card. Yeah, all, all well and good. You could get yourself one of those, but you're also going to be waiting about a year to get it. Yeah. So you can run all of these, all of these simulator programs from about a 3060 upwards. So we always take that as the baseline for our computers. They're all custom built. So if you want a more graphically enhanced computer, we can do that. That's great. Um, it's, you know, it's obviously going to cost more money. But our standard computers come with a, a 3060 graphics card, you know, plenty of RAM, plenty of processing power, and they're all you know, like they're water, you know, the water cooled or air cooled, yeah, depending yeah. on what you want to do. And uh, yeah, they they will run all of these launch monitors, you know, until until they proceed past that graphic level. So say say yeah. they start to bring in VR or something like that, then you're going to need to go a little bit Great, higher yeah, up the level. Yeah. But for now, for the next, yeah, you know, it's, it's future proofing your, yeah, your launch monitor by it. having that gaming PC in place. Well, it's, it's good to know that you guys can custom make the computers as well, because yeah. um, particularly like within the GS Pro community, um, because it's a, a simulation software that's evolving all the time. Yeah. The courses are getting better. The mm -hmm. the frame rates are kind of 
you need more power within yeah. your gaming yeah. PC as well. So, like um, like Alex just said, like the 3060 is kind of like the be the baseline, um, mm -hmm. and you can run it to a decent standard. Yeah, but you can run it up to yeah, you can run it up to pretty high level graphics with a 3060. Yeah. You can then proceed up to a 3070, 30, yeah. 3090. And if you do, if you do decide, oh, this isn't performing well enough for me anymore, you know they've they've updated it past where I feel, I feel yeah. happy. Rather than have, because it's a gaming PC, rather than having to buy a whole new PC, all you have to do is buy a graphics chip, and it's yeah, you, gra you get your graphics card, it's just uninstall the drivers from the old yeah, one, install the in. new one, and it will literally it will bring up a, a prompt on your computer. Do you want to install these new drivers? You do that, and you're good to go. And we've also got um, the screen that you're using over there. So not the impact screen, but the, the second screen. So Alex, can you yeah. tell us a little bit about that, please? Yes, yeah, so we call those we call that the monitor. Um, so the monitor is basically what you're seeing the computer doing. Yeah. So we always recommend putting in what we've got behind us here, which is actually a 55-inch touchscreen monitor. We don't necessarily have to be 55 inches. We do them in a number of different sizes, uh, obviously for different prices, and also to suit different rooms. If you had a a little single garage that you're putting a launch monitor in, you had to put a 55-inch screen. It doesn't make much sense to have that <laughs> large monitor. Fit in mind. <laughs> but the, uh, the the utility of it is that you can actually then just drag and drop while you're aiming, especially if you're playing the courses. So, for instance, if you're on Trapman, you're going to be familiar with the fact that they have golf courses. Yeah. And, you know, say you're on TGC, you don't want to have to go all the way to your computer to then drag and drop with the mouse where you want to be aiming. You can just turn around, you know, adjust your adjust your aim point. And it's going to be you know, really, really intuitive and quick as cool. well, which just makes it, it just makes it easier and more fun. Yeah, you can do um, really I know we've not got the courses up at the moment. We've just got a track one up. But do you want to give us a quick demo of like how it yeah, works? Yeah, for man? sure. Yeah. It so just, all we'll you have to do. I'll move out of the way over here. Yeah, it's 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 well, it's exactly what it says. It's just a touchscreen monitor, so you can just you can adjust everything. Yeah, you can. We can take you out. Yeah, go into here. It's all it's all just makes it so easy to work your way through the yeah you know, the settings. Literally, if you want to launch a course, it's as quick as that. Like we're already launching the course, it's just touch and touch and go, rather than having to go and find your keyboard, find your mouse, you know. And you can, I'm assuming you can kind of split the screens as well, so you can have one screen on the impact screen and then on the monitor you can have like a, a yeah. data or something. Yeah, like so that. a lot of golf clubs, um, especially teaching pros, they'll have, you know, like for instance, they'll have the course that you're hitting on or the, the range that you're hitting on, so you can see the shot, and then all the data can actually appear on the screen next to you. So yeah. that is an option. Uh, we here we actually just mirror the two screens so that because often we're using the course. So for instance, as I was saying, say you wanted to change your aim point, you just drag and drop, and it's instant. It's that instant feedback, instant input, and just being able to get you know what you want done quickly, so you can focus on playing golf rather than yeah Brilliant. having to having to play around with the game. Can you just tell us what size this impact screen is in this area that you've got here, please, Alex? Yes. So this uh, this screen is about 4.3 by about 2.9. As you can see, the pelmets, the uh, black black sort of framing of the screen, they're about ten, about ten centimeters, about hundred mil. Right. Okay. So they sort of take off a little bit from the screen, but That's the, the, the room top. size, yeah, the room size is about four and a half meters wide, about three meters tall, and we've actually got about six meters depth here, so we're able to run radar systems in here. Cool. Um, and yeah, we've but we've done sort of builds far shorter, this sort of far shorter, and also far bigger. Yeah, we've done eight, ten meters, you know, huge rooms with bars and all Sweet. sorts of stuff like that. Yeah, class. I wish I had one. Yeah, I wish I had one of them as well, yeah. <laughs> right, right, Alex, um, I think that's it. Is there anything else that we've missed out of your uh, simulator? I don't studio? think so. Not in this simulator, no. no. I think we're pretty much covered. Well, I'm sure you can see for yourselves, but it is amazing in here. I love it. I've had a few shots, like I said before, and I can't wait to have uh, a few more shots, trying out a few of the different launch monitors. Uh, we've got a bit more content to come from down here at the Golf Swing System studio. So stay tuned for that over the next few weeks. Uh, and yeah, thank you very much, Alex. It's been yeah. lovely to meet you. I yeah. appreciate it. And don't forget to use Handicap 5 when you're when you're shopping to get it's your very discount. Very good point, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Don't so, run on the ball. <laughs> yeah, good man. Yeah, like Alex just said, uh, if you head over to the Golf Swing Systems website, I'll put a link in the description below. And if you use the code Handicap 5, you will get 5% off pretty much everything in store. Is that right, Alex? Yeah, the only thing we don't do it on is Trackman, Trackman devices, because 5% off 20 grand. Yes, that's quite a lot, that's a lot of money. Of money. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so everything excluding Trackman, yeah, you're good to go. So, so if you're getting a Mevo you, or a Skytrack, you're good to go. Yeah, so all your gadgets, all your other launch monitors apart mm -hmm. from Trackman, then save yourself a bit of money, use that code HANDICAP5. Thanks very much. Brilliant. Top man. If you want to see more golf simulator setups, then click this video on the screen right now.